Today I'll be showing you how to put a aux input into an old AM radio. This one's a Delco unit from a 1963 Studebaker Avanti. Should be similar with any other Delco units. For this you'll need a pair of cutters, a quarter inch nut driver, some solder, a resistor. This is a 150 ohm, but anything between 80 and 220 will work. And that's to trick your source into playing properly on a mono output. Um, there's four bolts, one in each corner. Once you remove those, you can open the cover. Uh, some of them have a light installed on the inside. We'll just slide that off. And I'll attach it on the front of the chassis here so we'll be able to tell it's on when we power it up in a minute. Um, on the potentiometer for the volume side, which on this unit's the left, the left side, which is the blue wire, goes to my AM input. The middle is the wiper, and the black is the ground. We'll be soldering in the auxiliary adapter and attaching it somewhere on the chassis when we're finished. This is the auxiliary input I'll be using. This has normally closed on both sides of the stereo channels, left and right, and a ground. This will be pin 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Pin 1 will be ground, pin 2 won't be used, pin 3 and pin 4 will go to the potentiometer input. Pin 4 will have a resistor in place to trick your source into outputting in mono, and pin 5 will be the input from the existing AM radio. To make this simpler, I've already soldered on some leads. Black will be ground. Pin 3 and pin 4 with the resistor will go to the potentiometer input, and pin 5 will be the old AM antenna. First I'll disconnect the AM antenna from the potentiometer and then I'll connect it to pin 5 on our auxiliary Next I'll connect my ground pin 1 to the potentiometer ground Next, I'll connect one of the sides without the resistor to the input on the potentiometer. Just tinning the wires to make it easier to solder. There's pin 3 and pin 4 with the resistor in parallel. And that's it. So now we have ground going from pin 1 to the one side of the potentiometer, which is the ground. Pin 3 and pin 4, which are your stereo outputs left and right channel with the resistor in parallel, will go to the source input on the potentiometer, and the original AM input from the radio will go to pin 5. Now, when an auxiliary cord is not inserted, the AM channel will work normally, as the radio always has, and when you insert the auxiliary cable, the AM will be separated, and the input from your iPod or MP3 player will be played. Let's show you how that looks. I now have the radio connected to my 12 volt source. I've got plus 12 coming in on the side, negative going to the chassis, and the light shows that we're working. With my poor man's antenna set up, we will be able to hear the static from the AM station that doesn't exist. And if we insert an auxiliary cord, we will be able to show the iPod input working. So we no longer have the static, and if we turn on some music, and turn up the volume, 
everything works as expected. Thanks for watching.